I'm going to start on the feminine side for you guys, Aquarius. So, the sun in reverse, major arcana card in reverse. I want to see what is in the subconscious, the temperance. Okay. <clears throat> also, I want to see the masculine. I don't usually do this. The devil. Wow. All major arcana cards. And the seven of pentacles. So, feminine Aquarius. Feminine, feminine, feminine. Let me zoom in on that. How are you not feeling light and free in your body, in your experience, in your life in March? I'm recording this on March 14th. It's a little late. I apologize. Um, so I want to say by the full moon, this energy is going to flip. However, let's read it in reverse right now since that's how it came out. Um, I feel like the feminine Aquarius energies are dealing with the past and not allowing themselves fully to be immersed in the present because it's colored. It's This card is very colored too um, by what's behind them and the sunflowers are behind them and I never noticed the little green leaves and they look a little withered. So by focusing on the past feminine, in disappointments and loss, in love, your heart is going to feel withered in doing so. You won't be able to feel like you can raise your flag and wave it around in exultation and exclamation of joy in your life if you're residing in some type of regret over the past. Um, I feel like the subconscious below the surface energies, though, are supporting you in helping you come to realize that this is going on and bringing you back into your full glory and full embodiment throughout the next couple of weeks towards the full moon, I want to say, to bring you back into balance and to bring you back into residing in the knowledge that you are a divine being of light and that at your essence is truly who you are, but you may not be feeling it in the middle of the month, Aquarius Feminine. For whatever reason, I mean, everybody's situation is different because we're all individuals, so however that's resonating for you. So there'll be more information up here. Let's move over to the masculine with the devil. It could be, now that I'm looking at both sides, the the feminine is in this energy of regret because the masculine is over here sort of steeped in his own attachments and desires and mire and a little bit of darkness. And that's affecting the feminine from feeling like she can shine because feminine, you're letting it. Um, Nobody has control over you but you. However, certain relationships and people in our lives can hold sway and can pull on our heartstrings in a way that feels like it is out of our control, but that's just an illusion. That is not the truth at all. And so the masculine here dealing with maybe some form of jealousy or addiction or attachment in his life. And again, I say his, him, he for masculine and she, her, whatever for feminine. But we all, I'll, re I'll reiterate this again. I say it in all my videos or I try to. We all have both masculine and feminine. So you could be a female that relates more to masculine energy this month and it could flip flop or just in general in your life. Um, I feel like he's distracted from the feminine in this internal experience that isn't necessarily so pleasant, but necessary because he's needing, there's this underlying desire to move in a better direction and feeling like he has to make a choice, but that none of the choices are really lighting his fire up, just sort of a ho-hum energy, been there, done that, well, what's next? And 
masculine, I feel like you're, in order to move through that ho-hum energy, to step into a form of gratitude and appreciation for immediately what's in front of you and things all of a sudden, you could be sitting in the same chair in the next breath, feel like everything is completely in hyper color when before it felt black and white. That's up to you. We're in control of our experience and what we see in front of us is completely based on our belief system. So I feel like masculine, you're undergoing this transformational process that's necessary in March around the new moon of coming to really appreciate what is in your life instead of maybe there was a little bit of an element of taking it for granted and understanding the specialness in, in something that perhaps has been around a while and renewing that vigor and renewing that um, passion for life in a holistic way, not in a needy way, or not in trying to fix something um, and not feeling trapped. Like I, I just got, you know, with the chains around their neck, you, the masculine could be feeling a little bit trapped in his situation or circumstance that has been swirling around him. And he's trying to understand what the next best move is for the highest good of all. But he's so heavily being influenced by his belief system that needs to be illuminated and take the time for it to be illuminated. Let's see what's in his above board. Conscious energies is the nine of wands in reverse. So the masculine is feeling a little weary and that whatever is in front of him that he's presented with, he just doesn't have the muster to be able to fight for it at this time um, in the outer world. And I'm wondering if it has to do with the feminine because he's looking in her direction. I want to see what her conscious energies are. So the six of wands... Um, I feel like the feminine has her own thing going on, Aquarius, to the point where she's deciding now to move through this upside down sun energy, like, hmm, okay, well, the masculine's over there sort of steeped in a little bit of negativity right now. Um, and it's not permanent. It doesn't feel like a permanent energy at all, but something that he's moving through. She's going to focus on the areas of life that feel like are successful and are working and keeping on the track of those areas of life to build the momentum so that she can feel happy in her heart, regardless of what he's doing over here, you know, meddling through some muck. Um... And I wonder if if the masculine is looking over to her thinking, like not, I don't feel like he's going to say this out loud, but it, it's more of an internal thought of, huh, why is she so happy over there? What does she have to celebrate? But that's, and a little bit of envy coming from him. Um, but it's very short-lived. And then it turns into a curiosity to want to know like what she's up to and how she's doing it and how she's pulling herself up by the bootstraps and really taking on these healthy patterns and habits and behaviors of her that ultimately act as an inspiration to him. So curious message is Aquarius. Let's flip over the central yeah, there's definitely a disconnect here between the masculine and feminine um, Aquarian energies in March. There's some sorrow and an effort to understand what happened and maybe what went wrong between two people. And there's a little bit of some dwelling on the spilt cups. When in reality, that's already happened. 
and there's there's a process of feeling it to heal it Aquarius for both of you and and this the circumstance and the situation and all of the details of that of course are going to be particular to you in your life um so I want to say allow this process to happen don't fight it don't try to cover it up or say that it's not there or put on a tough act or show or skin really let yourself feel the sorrow or the loss or the grief in the situation and honor that honor that that is something that you're going through right now and it's not going to last forever i feel like the more that we allow ourselves to experience what feels like the truth for us in the moment the less of a hold and the less of the grip that it has over anything over our even our emotional state it shifts when we don't resist it that's the message don't resist this card um because the resistance i feel is is pulling him like rooting him into placing himself just solid in this direction but not resisting it the cape loosens a little bit and he can start twirling around and being a little bit more playful with these energies and then like I understand grief um sometimes it can be so heavy and deep that you just have to laugh almost at the ridiculousness of the experience and there's a little bit of comic relief around it and so taking it seriously but also not taking yourself so seriously Aquarius and that's a message for both of you so I hope that resonated for some of you let me know in the comments section below I also want to pull a roomy oracle by Alana Fairchild for you to solidify some advice in these messages for you, Aquarius, both feminine and masculine. So again, I thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. So feel free to share these videos as you feel inspired to. You're welcome to. You know of <clears throat> any Aquariuses that if you're cross watching and you're not an Aquarius at all yourself, um to share with your Aquarian friends you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram the links are below in the description box I always fail to mention that but as I'm shuffling I wanted to let you know that arise yes number 13 such beautiful artwork the distinction and the melding of the light and the dark, they both exist in this card. And the figure in it down here reminds me of the Five of Cups in the center of your reading and how your guardian angels are watching over this process for you, Aquarius. Wings of hope languish from lack of use. When wings dissipate and weaken, life begins to lose its value. Every cell in your body is created to rise to challenges. Your life is meant to confront everything that holds you captive. Don't sit at the bottom of the well, not caring about salvation. Listen to the voice within calling to you. Reach for eminence beyond your own maturity. Rumi. How perfect. This so reiterates and affirms this message of what was coming through in the tarot, you guys, about don't languish in this sorrow alone. Let yourself feel it, but also reach out for angel guidance too. And it will pass. You can move through it. So don't stay here too long, but allow it to happen if that is in your experience, is the message. Okay, Aquarius? <laughs>